Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new iRes Studio game called Rogue Company. Uh, so I did a couple of games in this uh, new, uh, brand new game. Honestly, it's well optimized. I think a lot of people will run it well. Uh, for sure, getting your 60 FPS in this game is pretty easy. Uh, for sure, if you have like a laptop with an integrated video card, maybe it will be tougher. But honestly, uh, it runs well. And also, if you're playing high refresh rate, you should not have any issue with this game. Honestly, it's, 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 it's really smooth. Uh, also, you, they give you a lot of different parameter and a lot of different like a bracket when uh, you're, for example, you want to modify, I don't know, foliage, shadows and stuff like that. And uh, you can gain a lot of FPS by tweaking the game. So we will start with uh, Windows, make sure that everything is tweaked properly. The first thing that you need to write is game mode. You want to remove the game mode. Uh, it's creating like stuttering and you're you losing FPS with this. So just remove this. Uh, Xbox game bar, really important, a lot of issue with it. And if you have the latest version of Windows, I have a lot of problem with it, so just remove it. Capture, make sure that your background recording is at off, recorded audio is at off. Also, really important, make sure that you have the latest driver for your NVIDIA, video card, AMD, even uh, Intel if you have an integrated video card. Really important to make sure that you're doing, uh, you have the latest driver. Uh, big games like that uh, will uh, work, normally they work with the... Um, your GPU manufacturer and um, they will like release driver that will uh, optimize your FPS. Another thing, make sure that you don't run any like overlay when you're playing this game. Uh, I had like some weird glitch when I was uh, using Discord overlay. So remove uh, the Discord overlay, Nvidia overlay, even the AMD overlay. Uh, it should help you to have like a stable FPS. Uh, one last thing, it's the uh, GPU scheduling, the new feature of Windows. So make sure that you have your, your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling at on. If it's not, you need to reset your computer um, and it will be, it will activate the uh, ac hardware accelerated GPU. Uh, it will optimize your memory with your video card. I have a, a, a dedicated video about it to explain like what it's doing and what it's improving. So just do it and reset your computer and you will be fine. So now let's go inside. Of so now the setting inside of the game. So first of all, click right click top right of your screen. Click on settings. So here, this is pretty much where the magic happened. I don't know why right now it's always resetting my settings. So when you restart your game, just look at it. Uh, probably it's a bug. They will fix it uh, quickly. Uh, first of all, screen, mo screen mode. Uh, you really have to play in full screen in this game. I did a couple of tests with uh, Borderless and the window mode. I was losing FPS and I was getting like some random hiccup, a bit of stuttering. So play full screen. Resolution, it really depends on your monitor. So me, I'm playing 1080p. If after all my guide, uh, you have like, I don't know, an integrated video card on a laptop and your uh, screen is 1080p and you still don't get your 60, maybe you should lower your resolution. Uh, you will see that your image decrease a lot, but uh, you will have a big boost in your FPS. V-Sync, uh, I don't use V-Sync. I don't want any input lag, so that's why I'm using it at off. Motion blur, put this one at off. Uh, you don't want any motion, motion blur when you play a competitive game. After that, view distance, the, this one I'm playing at I I did a couple of tests, honestly, because the thing is, yes, you want more FPS, but also you want to see in the game. You want to see your enemy and stuff like that. So between ultra and I, I saw a difference of 4% in my FPS, but I and medium, it's 2%. So I feel like I is a, it's a nice way to go. For sure, again, if you're playing on a, on a laptop with an integrated video card, probably you will need to go too low. Shadow, really important. This one, this is the setting that will give you the most FPS. Go with low. It's 4% for each bracket. So this one really important and honestly it doesn't affect your gameplay. So just go with low. Anti-aliasing. This one is a bit tricky. If you don't like to play without any uh, anti-aliasing, go with medium. But me, I'm playing at low because anti-aliasing is it's creating like some blurriness in the game. And it's not just this game. I feel like it's all the game. I like to play with anti-aliasing on when I do a solo game. But when I play a multiplayer, a game like Warzone or I don't know, even the Escape from Tarkov, I don't uh, use anti-aliasing. And it gives you a lot of FPS, it's 3% for each bracket. 
Texture, texture I'm using Ultra. Uh, texture really depends on your VRAM. So uh, if you have four gig and more, go with Ultra. Three gig at high, two gig at medium, and low if you have less than two gig. Visual effect and post-processing, both I'm putting those one at low. Uh, big difference again between high and Ultra. So if you don't, you don't like to play your game at low and you still want some visual effects and post-processing uh, uh, effect when you play the game, Go with medium uh, because it's only 2% difference between low and medium. And you will see a nice increase in your image quality when you're using them. But me, it's a competitive game. That's why I go with low. Foliage. This one have a big impact, a bit like shadow. It's 3% for each bracket. So a nice uh, chunk of FPS. All those grass, bush, trees. Uh, you will down, uh, downgrade the foliage and it will give you a really nice boost in your FPS. So that's about it guys for the guide. I didn't see anything in the config file for now. The config file seems to reset all the time. Uh, all the numbers are, are at zero. I feel like zero right now it's maybe ultra for them. So it's not like three or four. So it's a bit weird the way the setting uh, works right now. But you know, it's a private beta. I will probably do another video when they will uh, update this. And uh, for now, this is pretty much the setting that you should use. Uh, don't forget to upgrade um download the latest driver to make sure that you don't have any issue with that and that's about it if you have any questions just comment in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace